Hello guys and welcome back to Lead Logics. This is the new question which we are going to solve. The, it is a lead code hard and the number for this is 2742. The top, the title for the question is painting the box. So in this question we are given with two arrays, cost and time, representing the cost and time required to paint n different walls. And we have to access, we have the access to two different type of painters. The one type of painter is a paid painter which can paint the ith wall in time of i units of time and charges cost of i units of money. Whereas the free painter on the other hand can paint any wall in one unit of time and takes no cost. So, but the prerequisite of the free painter is that the paid painter should already be occupied to use the free paint. We have to return the minimum amount of money required to paint all the walls. So, first of all, let's have a look at the example. So I have taken the sample example 1, the cost equal to 1, 2, 3, 2 and time equal to 1, 2, 3, 2. So first of all, to minimize the money, we what we will do is that we will give the minimum cost wall to the paid painter and at the same time we will give the highest cost wall to the pay, uh, free painter. So in this case, we are not only minimizing the money given to the paid painter, we are also maximizing the money saved by painting the walls by the free painter. So in this example, we'll give the zeroth wall to the paid painter and the second wall to the second index wall to the free painter. So the next remaining two walls will be a first and the third, and both have a cost of two and time of two. So we can give any wall to any painter. And at the end, what we'll give, we'll have that the zeroth index wall is painted by the paid painter and any of the first and the third wall is painted by the paid painter so the output of this will be 3 so now let's come to the intuition so my intuition says that a problem can be solved using a dynamic programming we can create something like a money array where money of i will represent the minimum cost to paint the i walls and initially we can set the money of i to a large value and then we can compare and update the money of i index. So let's jump to the code. So uh, first of all, we required a money array. So for this, we are defining the cost. We will take the money array to be of size n plus one. And uh, then we we'll fill it with a comparatively large value, say and now what we'll do is that we'll iterate through the each of the walls. But before that we need to make sure that money of zero is zero. This is done because the money required to paint zero walls is zero and not a high value. So this was necessary to do that money required to paint zero walls is actually zero. Then we will iterate through each of the walls, each of the walls. And for each iteration, we we'll, uh, again iterate for all the possible values that a wall will be painted by the free painter or a paid painter. So in this, we will iterate from back side. And then we will compare. Either the free painter paints it, the current wall, or the paid painter paints the current wall. So we will take minimum wall. So if the current wall is painted by a free painter, so the money will not change. Money will not change. But if the wall is painted by the paid painter, then we will take J minus time of I until the paid painter is free minus 1 
or zero, whichever is maximum of this. And then we'll simply add the cost of the paid painter required, and we'll simply return the money required to paint the invoice. Now let's check if this thing runs. So, okay. This is fine. So yeah, accepted. Now let's have a look at the time complexity and the space complexity. So the time complexity for this question is n n square, where n is the number of walls, because we are iterating twice on this. First time for the entire array, and the second time for all the possible values. And the space complexity is O of n because we take a DP array or you can say a money array. So this was my solution, guys. I hope you liked it and understood it. Please do give a like to my YouTube video and share it, and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, my current subscriber is R65, and my initial goal is 100. So please do do subscribe the channel. Thank you for watching the video. Have a nice day.